Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. How is your quarantine day? Staying at home, eat, watch, play, and not much you can do actually. Uh, today's video, we talk about the Nikon D5600. I just want to share about my experience from about three years back ago, I think uh, 2017, I probably in 2017. That time, Nikon just launched this camera. So it's my major camera, so until right now, it's still my major camera. I haven't had another camera yet. I want to share with you about uh, the three, three years review about this camera. I think on the YouTube has a lot of people sharing unboxing the Nikon D5600, uh, how to use it, what is the pros and cons, I think a lot. Yes, a lot. But if, let's say you want to listen to my true experience through this video, stay tuned. Alright, let, let, let us talk about the reason that I want, uh, why I choose to buy the Nikon D5600. Okay, the first of all, that actually is the uh, the price. The pricing is uh, quite attractive. So far, uh, because back then, uh, about three years ago, we would like to have a slow motion camera with the DSLR. So, if you want a budget DSLR that can make a slow mo. This is actually inside my list because the um, back in the day they actually have a 60 frames per second DSLR is quite good for slow motion things because of the slow motion. So I will look around about 60 frames per second that they can re re uh, record the video up to 60 frames per second. So at that time I think a lot of people were saying that oh maybe you can choose Canon. Uh, what I have to do is because the Nikon marketing. Okay, how smart is it? Well, the time that actually you pay about 3,007 ringgit Malaysia, which means it's about 860 USD dollar, I think. So when you pay that amount, you can get two lens. Whether your your country is that have a two lens package, I, I think until right now, the Nikon still offering this. Uh, I can see a lot, a lot of uh, this in the Amazon and some of the. Uh, that's the, that's the thing. Okay, so uh, this is the thing, the first impact that Nikon give me, saying that oh, this price you can buy with free or one zoom lens for you. Most of the time, 18 to 55th. It's, sometimes it's not enough, you know. It's not, you can see the bird, you can do some candy shop. The first thing of, that I love about the, this uh, Nikon D5600 is the flip screen. Yes, well, okay, what about the free screen right now? The free screen actually, uh, I think still have a lot of DSLR that have this kind of a uh, free screen because the, especially I think they have a Canon T7i, a Canon, uh, uh, I thought, yeah, they have plenty a lot. This is, even Pentax also have that, this kind, this type of the flipping screen, all right? We flip it in and then you can see your face right here. Oh, okay, back on it, and you can black flip it. You can see like that. This this camera good is like when you're taking the photos. Like okay, photos on. Okay, so apparently you want to shoot in the low mode, very low. So this is like on the on the light, and even to go higher, it's not much problem about that. So this is the camera that I like about the flippy screen because more of of the high-end videos, the uh, high-end videos, the high-end cameras like uh, Nikon D, D850, Nikon D750. I think right now Nikon Z mirrorless Z50 or Z7 or Z6 or ZZ. They also they haven't got this this convenient flipping screen yet until right now. I haven't seen it, but. I know there's some some big things is coming up, but it's not with the N. It's doing something with the C. It's not with the N. Okay. 
they do not photography, videography, you can just play along with this camera because they have a very basic everything in here built in. So even the photo quality is good, image quality, no worry, video quality is good and then have a lot of uh, functioning scene like effect of those you know uh, program shutter priority aperture priority the, all those is like mid level and then they have a 39 uh, focus point this is this is all the all the good thing about this camera and also plus with it's a very lightweight you know all this all the function I use it up about about that and then uh, I want to share is uh, another thing is the D5600 when you bought it, they actually have uh, come with a lens we call the AFP. You know, a lot of Nikon lens is called AFS, and then uh, also it's AFP because of ASP, so the focus is more faster. But if let's say you want to compare the AFP and the AFS is. For the next shop, right? I brought some accessory for him. It's like uh, you can buy a flashlight or you attach it like this. See? Right now it's like professional, isn't it? I'm a news reporter. So I suggest you buy a prime lens for that. You know, this is the prime lens. Uh, AFS. AFS, correct. AFS. Okay, the annoying part about this camera. The annoying part, yeah, annoying part. The annoying part actually is from this camera is the video mode, because the video he barely can focus it. He can't really tracking the subject to focus everything. Uh, in this sample video, you can see the focus is like shit. <laughs> it's like shit, just like shit. I I I I can't I can't I can't spend everything in on in here. Just shit. <laughs> it's totally out. So that's why a lot of people, if let's say uh, you want to have a video DSLR camera, mostly people they won't come to Nikon because uh, back then I think Nikon is good in photography but it's not good in videography. That's why a lot of people tell me because I I didn't know until I experienced it. Then you can see all my travel videos like. I focus, lost focus, and focus, and lost focus, focus, and lost focus. That's the reason. So, if let's say you want to buy the D, uh, the Nikon D5600 for video purpose, I suggest you buy the mirrorless. If you still want to stick with the Nikon because of the Nikon uh, soundtrack, I think a lot of people will, will like the soundtrack, right? Because yeah, the, the, the feeling is very good. When you're sitting in the cinema and then you look at it and then the advertisement came in. That make you feel you want to buy a camera and just go travel around the world. Just record everything, right? So that's why, because of that song, it makes me makes me trust Nikon. <laughs> Nikon? Nikon? I'm not so sure. Okay, so and the... Uh, annoying thing is about the video and the second thing is this camera is an APS-C what does it mean APS-C then? APS-C is mean crop camera so when I'm taking picture about some of the narrow place I don't really can capture very well because I, I, I will need a very wide lens to have a use because it's APS-C it crop a lot it's crop a lot what is APS-C? I think maybe you want me to make it in the next video or just comment below if you, if, you, if you want me to make another video about that. Shooting in a narrow place is not very convenient you know, all the time. But in shooting uh, for the zoom or bird or you know, zoom lens is pretty good. Alright, also about, uh, okay, if let's say you want to do a video record mode, because of a lost focus, what you can do is, uh, all the time, I, I, uh, what you can do now, I, what I do is, uh, all the time I will use my Newton power to follow focus like this. But this is hard, you know, plenty hard because when the video mode you can't focus, you need to just turn the ring. So what if, what if, D5600 
this camera is attached on a gimbal stabilizer. That is tough, man. So, unless you have a mutant power that you can control the focus. Some sort of like this. No, I don't think so. you can do that. Unless you have a mutant power. This buddy has been with me three years. Besides of the video focus, I think everything is good about this camera. Next video, I will compare it both of this, uh, this lens, the, how, how fast the focus is. Uh, comment below, let me know about that, what you want to know about the, this camera. And the, uh, also you can just follow my everything, Instagram, Instagram and Flip. And follow my channel. I will do, I will make more video in the future. In the future. In the future. See you guys, bye.